What up, what up, what up, y'all? So uh, this week, we are going to be going over Omni-Man versus Hancock. Now, if you are friends with me on TikTok, and you can follow me there on Comic Geek, I did a breakdown of Homelander versus Hancock, and most of us established that Hancock would beat Homelander relatively easy. But can he beat Omni-Man? Let's break down the feats. Now, we know Omni-Man is Vultramite. Okay, superhuman strength, superhuman speed. Uh, they can go up to like 1100 miles per hour, if I'm not mistaken. Now, a vulture might weakness is due to them having super sensitive hearing. Certain frequencies can throw them e their equilibrium off and they can damage them really bad. So their weakness is actually in their ear. I hear they actually kind of sensitive to the sun as well. But the thing is, especially with Omni-Man, when he fight, it's to the death every fight. That's what separates him from everybody. Now, my boy Hancock, he has very similar feats. Super strength, super power. He is immortal. We don't have a metric of how much he can actually lift. But, I mean, if you watch the movie, you can see that he can lift a lot. His weakness is his spouse. <laughs> his wife was his weakness. When he was with his wife, if you remember, the reason why he actually ended up getting amnesia is because 80 years prior, he was with his wife and he was in his human form, right? So he was weaker and he got jumped and he got severe head damage. So his wife separated from him, right? But when he woke up, he didn't re even remember his name. But he had a super snipe because his wife had left him and, and like went far away from him. However, I've even read that these like they're angels. So, I mean, that's a whole nother rant. I would say that, you know, overall, they are very, very, very similar in speed uh, and strength. We don't we haven't seen really I mean we technically have seen Hancock fight someone as equal to him, which was his wife, right? So it's tough. It's tough, but essentially you have you have an alien versus an angel. And me personally, I'ma have to give the angel the edge. When Hancock is in his full form, like without his wife, when he's separated from his wife, he is immortal. This is a fact. So that means he can't die. So I have to give Hancock the edge. Now, if, if I'm wrong, let me know. Let me know in the comments. Let me know what it is. Let me know how I'm wrong. But I'm going to pick Hancock. 